Hey, buddy. Hello, hello. How are you? Good, but today is uh, Viva la France. Day. Viva la France. We got a busy day in France today. We have a busy day in France. Neil and I are here in France. Yes. This is just a fake screen behind us. We're actually in Francais. In Paris. Eating, eating, eating American fries in France. Because that's what we do. And baguettes. And, and, yeah, we're honey baguettes or honey bears. We're, we're honey badgers eating baguettes. So. But because we're in America, we always have to re or excuse me, we're not in America, we're in France. But since we're Americans, we obviously have to compare to us. So anybody know how big France is? Um bigger than a French fry? Bigger I don't know. I thought it isn't it like it's like in the middle of a bunch of countries, is it? I don't I don't think it was too big. So what's in France? Paris. Paris. We oui, oui, Paris. Pepe Le Pew's from France. That's right. There it is a uh, Paris. There's... There's oh, France. pretty small. A couple of states big. Iowa, yeah. Missouri. Let's see here. Half of yeah, Iowa. I bet you if you would have slid that around the four points about, what is that, uh, Arizona. Yeah. Yeah, I, I bet you it fits right. perfectly right there if you could yeah. you know, slide that over. So, yeah, wow. Well, Colorado, Utah, Arizona, New Mexico. Good deal. Oh, How many sad. people actually live in Francais? Does it say that? I mean, total I mean, country population. Let's figure out. <laughs> population of France. Uh, and the only reason why we're, we're we're celebrating Francais is we have the French Grand Prix going on for Formula E, and, and the we got the of Tour the de France, de France, Tour de France, which a uh, Dane is going to win today. A Danish man, a Danish man. Yep. Who's last Dutch name? letters for everybody. First yeah. one to chime in, I'll send you a Dutch S. How's that? <laughs> Population of France, 67.4 million people. Oh, that's pretty big. Okay. Pretty, they put a lot of people. Pretty, 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 yeah, they it, put a yeah. lot of people in that small state. Yeah, 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 uh, exactly. Well, shit. State and Good US for them. With 68 million people. Good for them. Hopefully, they, hopefully they're not dealing with the fucking monkey pox because I guess that's the next big thing. So, man, just to talk, <laughs> I mean, they do see a lot of people in that little bitty state. Yeah. So, that's uh basically the size of population wise. We showed how small it was. Uh -huh. Population size, it's California and Texas combined. In that people little wise, state. yeah. Total people, yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. So I mean, and those are like two. Th those are the two biggest states, right? Yeah. So you condense those down. So you can literally, if can you put that pick back up? Yeah. Let's see here. How big is you, that? So so let's just take a look. That is literally you. That will, if you follow the borders, that's like fucking the size of Texas. No shit. Yeah. It, it, if you look at, if you kind of follow some of the borders, yeah, that's like the size of Texas, and then a little bit. That's crazy. And then you stick all the people from Texas, plus California, combined, here. Huh. Since we're talking about Texas, Tejas, Te how Tejas. There we go. The state of Texas covers. A little smaller than the state of Texas. Oh, are you serious? Oh, yeah. yeah. Look at that. Covers the whole Look at you, you fucking Google expert. That's right. Make sure you shop, shop at Safeway. $24 off your first order. Yeah, good deal. Right on, man. Awesome. So, yeah, for all those uh, people interested about France. There you go. There we go. Yeah. I'm really not interested, but aren't they all conscientious objectors? Uh, that sounds That's what I heard. I don't know. Might have to go might have to Google that. I thought they were all conscientious objectors. So, uh, I have no idea. That's so I just wanna I just wanna say that uh for the next couple of weeks we'll be doing our uh Saturday or I'm sorry, our Sunday sessions because I have to be a big boy and work on our Saturdays and it wouldn't be fair to anybody if I tried to do a webcast on a Saturday while while I'm working. So because everybody gets a little bit a little pre for the Saturdays. And, so yeah. busy on Saturdays. Yes, we are. Or we can be, or we are. We're just fucking busy all the time. Us truck guys, we're always busy. Us Tru truckies are always busy. We're always fucking knocking doors down and shit. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's what they want. That's what we want people to think. And just remember. Oh, no. Oh, no. They can think that. The Sunday sermons are based firmly there you upon, go. upon there you the go. show. If you don't yes. know. 
We yes. should get some, we should get some caricatures drawn of ourselves like this. Let's do it, man. We can yeah, exactly like that. So why don't we just put our get our faces caricatured in some of these? I and think then that'll be uh, like perfect. What, you'll be which one do you want to be? I think I'll be baby Billy. You'll be I, baby, you'll I be baby he, Billy. I think he and I've got a similar face structure. Well, you know who I gotta be. The old man. No. Keith. Uh <laughs> is that him? Is that which one? No, uh, uh, Danny, Danny McBride's character. What, uh, what, 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 what's his name? Why well, I'm drawing a blank too. Yeah, and that's so bad because we watched every single episode of that. I kind of got, I kind of got a mullet going on. So yeah, I'll, I'll be his character. Oh man, I can see you uh, being little baby Billy. Oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> definitely, I mean, we got to do that. We got to work on that. I mean. I, That'd def- be awesome. So whoever plays Baby Billy, I mean, when he was in Vice Principals, I, I can be uh, that character. Yeah, and he was on that sitcom on fucking CBS too about the single or the. Yeah. What? So, yeah, he was on a fucking CBS sitcom. Just recently, that's pretty good. Oh, oh, hey, I got to show this. This is from our buddy. What's up from Alaska, gents? Hey, I will fucking carried- tell. What's that? One get carried away by those mosquitoes. Where? In Alaska. Alaska. What? what? Let's see here. Oh, we're, we're, this is what happens at the firehouse. We go down rabbit holes. Alaska. Let's hear. Google search Alaska mosquitoes and see what comes up. Alaska mosquitoes. I think you're crazy. Well, all I want to say is, is uh, Brian, I'm going to send a shout out to you because you are obviously. That did not work too well. Hang on. Bear with me. Yeah, go ahead. I, is there really that many? Dude. Uh, this is set, I searched Alaska mosquitoes. The internet wouldn't lie. All right. All right well, we're we're not gonna watch you search, but this is a shout out. Bam! There you go, Big B, wearing the cancel the engine views from the backseat T-shirt. So yeah, awesome, bro. Awesome, bro. Just don't. Yes, everybody, remember if you want this cool fucking swag. Bam! There, there's our website right there to buy awesome fucking swag, bro. Appreciate your support, man. Love you, bro. Hey, listen, he's not talking about the BBC. He's talking about <laughs> the fucking mosquitoes. I'm telling you. Like, well, so holy, so why would they have more, more skeeters than like uh, Minnesota, where that's supposed to be their uh, um, state bird? I don't know, but this is one of the reasons I like living where I live. Uh, I've gotten, I think I may have gotten a mosquito bite this summer. A mosquito bite? Yes. Gotcha. Oh, Brian's coming home. Maybe. I guess I don't know where he's going. He's oh, listening. Boarding plane. He's Man, probably listen. coming back home to. The, I would say the states, but he's kind of in the states. Listen, you better, uh, you better keep your earbuds in if you're listening to this on an airplane because this is not suitable for small children, and the air marshal will probably escort you off the plane. <laughs> <laughs> they are. They're not. A big, they're not big fans. Not big yeah. fans. It's but, all good. Especially since we're talking pro France today. Yeah. So it's all good. Pro pro franc. Pro franc. So uh and like I said, I, I'm a big TDF guy. I know. I'm a I'm a span Tour de France guy. Oh, true. Okay. It's like uh but I, I'll be honest, it is one of my favorite times of the year in Iowa. Right. Because now. Rat, well does Tour de France always coincide with Ragbri. Um, so Ragbri is always the last full week of July, right? And... Which is going on now. So day one was yesterday. Yep. Day two, say they had a miserable day yesterday, dude. It was a hundred fucking degrees. Ooh, that makes it hot with, hot with about a hundred fucking humidity. It was fucking nuts. It was and, nuts. Then, and then, uh, and then Tour de France always is the month of July. So yeah, they Tour they de France they overlap by a hot second at the end. Uh, yeah, depending yeah. on the time frame but yeah what's the uh do you have a t-shirt of the day today no yeah no, no. it's day. just a, it's just my it says may contain alcohol i'm slacking on my uh slacking on my uh ideas but don't worry everybody we'll have a good one for next week you might not like it but you will well so, i mean I mean so so you know maybe it's something like so Watched a movie yesterday. At work. Chips. 
when we're chips. so busy. Yeah, chips with that that Dak Shepard and Michael Pena. And the funniest part of that show was where he was talking about, he said, everybody eats everybody's ass. So it's all about eating ass. So, and then what, is, <laughs> what, is it, what is it? What is it about ass eating movies? I don't know. I don't know. I mean, what it is. And then the kicker was, who picked, who he said, out? he said, if you go to the bathroom and you see some moist towelette wipes, oh, bro, you're eating ass. It was like a fucking gimme. <laughs> I laughed so fucking hard. <laughs> that who, shit was funny. Sorry. Who picked that movie? Uh, it, it was just a random movie that they picked from. Yeah, we watched all yeah. kinds of crazy shit. Well, I know. And, and, and I think I've seen it before, and it's kind of a cheesy movie. But yeah, that was probably the best part of the movie when we talking about eating ass. <laughs> and pretty, the, uh... pretty, pretty, pretty funny. And he, it looks like Dax. Uh, had his wife in it, Kristen Bell. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Looks like yeah. Uh, so. Yeah, F- funny movie. I get. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. It's, I mean, Eric, they... Eric Estrada. So, did they pull back? Sure, or... He he made a cameo in the. I was end. gonna say they pulled out the originals, huh? Yes. Yeah. 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 So like he came it. out in a cameo. He was like a medic in the ambulances. At, yeah. So it was pretty good. Listen, I uh, I, tried I, to... I chuckled. I tried my hand at being a firefighter again last week. Why? What happened? Um, Trying to put out those wildfires? I was at my local firehouse uh, getting ready to teach a class, and the LT was giving a, no joke, same fucking fire department, just a different spot. The LT was given <laughs> given a uh, review real quick uh, in his office, like y'all do. The captain, mm-hmm. the company yep. officer, give him a review. Uh, so he had to wait for a minute, so the other guys were sitting and watching TV, so I hopped my ass down in the recliner chair, popped those legs up. And I was like, man, it's just like riding a bike. Muscle memory. Fall right, fall <laughs> Muscle right back, memory. Fall right no, back to the face. So was it like no further did your ass hit the seat that your arm was pulling back the fucking recliner lever? Yeah, it's yeah. like one swift motion. Right. It's like, boom. And you hear yep. that chink, chink. Bam, you're in. Yeah. You're locked and I loaded. Mean, yeah. They looked at me and they're like, you've been, a, you've been in the firehouse before. I was like, heck yeah, I have. <laughs> <laughs> yep, locked and loaded. You never forget that. No. The only thing, the only thing better would have been if fucking Rock of Love was on TV. Oh, I know, I know. Speaking of which, did you watch that show I told you to watch about? Was this the Sex Room one? Yes. No, so, I have not yet. Uh, like, I don't think I can be watching that shit at work on during downtime. During downtime, folks. It's on Netflix. And one of the uh, I, oh, okay, well, there's soft porn on fucking Skinamax. I'm pretty sure I'm not putting that on the fucking TV at the fucking firehouse. What? <laughs> Somebody we know used to, but yeah. <laughs> Anywho, <laughs> uh, let's see. Come in, you know, wake up in the morning, make some coffee, turn on the old fucking teletubes, and like the first thing that pops up is like soft fucking porn. I'm like. <laughs> What the fuck? Who, who's fucking doing this? Yeah, yeah it, it it wasn't yeah. easy. It, it, yeah. it wasn't hard to figure out who it was, but yeah. Well, uh, so. Yeah. So I was told by I had some friends over this week. Uh, shout out to Jamie and Lauren. Uh, you've had, you've met them. Yes. Yes. You yes. met them, uh, dude. They're not on the show, are they? No, but they're the okay. ones. That, they're the ones that uh, told me about it. We were laughing our asses off because they said that it's hilarious as shit. Uh, and in fact, apparently one of the, like the first guests on the show is like uh, is a sheriff deputy. Uh, and the, I have to point this out is we did some research because they said it looks like it's being filmed around Denver. And okay. sure, and sure you... shit, it's filmed in Denver. So oh, right on. There's a uh, there's a show about building sex rooms being filmed around here. So we're getting an inside look at not only the sex rooms but the sex lives of. Denver folks right. and apparently so we, hilarious. So can we say that Denver is the birthplace of sex rooms? Um, officially, yes. Folks, this is different than a panic room. Okay, so let's not get these two confused. Yep. But this is your guy. This is your sex room guide. This lady. Uh, okay. So does <laughs> the sex room guide lady have a sex room in her house? Because if she doesn't, she's not an expert. That's like me not being a computer IT guy 
telling you how to fix your fucking computer, which all I got to do is say, did you reboot it? Well, yeah. Is it plugged in? Uh, oh, let me transfer you to somebody more qualified, which is the guy that don't speak fucking English in the fucking Philippines. So, yeah, that's how that works. I got that shit all figured out. That is, that's fair. Let's see who this Melanie Rose lady is. Yeah, so I kind of looked at some of the, the photos associated with that, and, you know, are it's kind of like, you know, chips, dips, chains, and whips. What, Whatever floats your boat, man. Are they any good? I'm telling you, I think I'm going to get an OnlyFans page. I told you that I was going to start one. I mean, I'll, I'll show dudes or chicks pictures of my feet or I don't know. Fuck all them fucking weirdos. So I guess right there it just says that fetishes, you can make money off of fetishes. Yeah. Welcome to the internet. Dude, you can go and buy a pair of girls underwear that they worked out in selling the panties there's a fucking market for that listen there's a market for everything man that is someone's million dollar idea and they're making fucking billions i'm fucking telling you man we miss we missed the fucking boat probably because we're too straight laced and no we missed the fucking boat on all this shit man we uh our our top collar button was too far bottom. Sex sells. Sex has literally sold uh, since humans have been alive in existence. Oh, I mean, oh yeah, yeah, okay. It has. I mean, it has. Yeah. I mean, uh, let's see here. First known. <laughs> what are you googling over there? You be careful. Uh, I'm switching to my phone since I'm not on my uh, personal computer. I'm switching to my phone. Okay. Uh, first known. Uh, Sex worker, dude. Like, ever in the in the world, in yeah. the ever's, yeah. Since the beginning of the internet, that's got to be thousands of years ago. There were sex workers. Yeah, I would mean I would imagine. Even so. though the Earth's only two thousand years old. Um. So according to according to the internet, which you you obviously have to trust it. Um, of course there's no Wikipedia, lie they don't lie on wikipedia there's, there's no lies on the internet uh but the earliest recorded mention of prostitution as an occupation was 2400 bce so that would be over almost 5,000 years ago yeah i know that's crazy it's crazy so sex, hey, sex that's health. why they say it's the world's oldest profession do right. they not dub that the world's yeah. oldest profession yeah so, so sex sells so what do you want to sell you don't even have to fucking look good hey i watch cops and you see some of them fucking hookers are picking up i wouldn't give you the fucking time of day i wouldn't give you a chicken nugget i ain't fucking doing that shit nope no, no, not at all. I mean, so w- what could we sell? What could we do? Oh, and by the way, this I'm is like, a- I'm like only fans. Yeah. Well, since you don't have to show your face, because I've heard you don't have to show your face. You just got to, there's some fucking freaky ass fucking people out there. I'm telling you, but you don't have to show your face at all. Well, is anybody going to subscribe to Neil's only fans? If we just walk around like, you know what we could do is we could put like South Park faces on. We could we could use some uh we could use why some, why couldn't why happen. couldn't we do the righteous gemstones faces? Yeah, perfect. Oh, oh we can't do that because everybody knows who we're gonna be. Mm. Can't do that. You gotta keep it quiet, keep it secret. Got, gotta keep it on the DL, gotta keep it on the down low. So what if we switch yeah. faces? I'll be I'll switch be doing yeah. McBride. Yeah. You yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, no one, yeah, no one will ever know that. But it'll, yeah, it'll throw, it'll throw, throw. I'm gonna have to look in that to supplement my income, because that's what people are doing. Yeah, it's a side hustle. And then okay, and then what the fuck is an internet influencer? What the fuck is that? Mm, it's anybody that has a lot of followers on like the IGs and things. And all they do is take dumb pictures of themselves. Hey, look at me. I'm ordering a burger from McDonald's. Yeah. And then McDonald's. Oh, okay. And then McDonald's paid them. So they're making money not working. But how, what do you mean McDonald's is paying them? They're not hired by McDonald's. These are just some dipshit ass kids 
they that are, are like that are, that we're, we're like internet influencers. Oh yeah. no, you're not. You're a fucking moron. Let's see well, your grossing Instagram. Influ- I'm an internet influencer. Okay. Uh, holy shit! Tell these fucking kids. I was around when the fucking internet was fucking created. I don't want to age myself that much, but you know what I mean. All right. You ready for this? No, I I, I do not want to be pissed off. This might, this might, this might push your blood pressure up. Uh, Do you know this footballer Cristiano Ronaldo? Yeah. So he's, uh, he's on Instagrams and he's got, and he's got he gets paid to put posts up for oh, oh. But, but, okay Look, go ahead this is the estimated price that he gets paid it costs if, if you wanted if we wanted to buy a views from the back feet ad and have cristiano ronaldo post it uh-huh. you, ready? you ready for this i guess we're going for one post we're going to have to cough up between $880,000 and a million oh fuck that for one post, oh, but but he's not an internet influencer. He's a fucking sports icon. Apparently, I'm talking about I'm talking about these dipshit fucking kids that do the fucking duck lips. Uh, look at me, I'm doing duck lips in front of the duck lip store. And, know. You know, it's like fucking unfucking real. Uh, they make money. We gotta start. I gotta, know. So, which one do we want to do? Do we want to do OnlyFans or do we want to become Instagram influencers? Well. It would probably be easy to put us up on the IGs, wouldn't it? Than anything? Probably. You know, so I yeah, we gotta think about that. And I'm still trying to figure out what people are what people are actually would be willing to pay us for on only on the OF on the OnlyFans. Uh pictures of my feet. Pictures <laughs> pictures pictures of Neil's feet coming out of his fire boots. Picture of Oliver licking my feet. I don't know fuck there's some weird motherfuckers out there. You want to throw me a buck? Just watch my dog lick my fucking toe. Yeah, here I'll, gonna, I'll take your buck. I'm gonna all right. I'm gonna take everybody down a new rabbit hole that I found out about. Go uh, go to OnlyFans <laughs> and see what they show. I don't I don't have big tits to show anybody. They don't have to be nude. You just got to pull your shirt enough, just to the brink of the areolas, and then that's like hundreds of dollars. See what I'm saying? I'm we to, as I'm men are at a disadvantage. I don't know. Just isn't it the same that if you just like there's there implied nudity for men. We are at a disadvantage because there is more horny old men out there than there are horny old women. One hundred percent. Okay. Yeah. So we as men are at a disadvantage. So maybe now I'm not even going to go there. I was gonna say maybe we start our own page for men, but then that'd be totally fucking gay. Not 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 that I'm against that. Listen, yeah, I'll just I, backtrack that. Uh, how it, it all depends on what how, what you're willing to sleep with. That night. Not sleep with how. <laughs> no <laughs> one's gonna see I'm my sure. face. Okay, so yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna have to look into that. It all depends on what how you can sleep at night. If you can sleep with your head on calmly on the pillow, then you're good. Dude. I sleep pretty fucking good at night, and trust me, my fucking life's a fucking train wreck, and I sleep pretty good at night. See? So, no conscious, no worries, right? Just keep rolling. Mm-hmm. Just Well, we'll figure it out. We'll get real yeah. rich. We'll get real I rich. thought you were going to pull up some OnlyFans pages to see what they're actually selling. I'm on or my, I'm you on have to su- here, or yeah. not selling, but you have to subscribe to the page to if get I, what they post. If I was on my personal computer, I'd pull it up. Well, okay, okay. Would you like me to? Well, I'm on my I'm on my work computer, so. Well, no, no, so I can't yeah, do so. that. Because my computer wouldn't fire up this morning. Fans. Was, my computer's a little sleepy. Okay, like, so here's um, only fan. Oh, you got to fucking log mm-hmm. in. I don't want to log in. I just want to check it out. This is not. This is not okay. There's nothing free on there. Well. I mean, surely. You have but to- I don't know. I don't know how to share sounds, though. Is the problem? You haven't taught me that part yet. So I'm on there, but there's really it's too home. There's some chick talking about purses. Only, yeah. 
There's some chicks sitting in a sauna. Let's see. Yeah, I'm not sure. Oh, well. Oh, can you hear that? No. No, I yeah, I don't know how to add the volume. Sorry. All right. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Oh, there's a chick with her puppy. What? God damn. We are in the wrong business. Why? Did uh, you come up with something that I didn't? No, I'm just I pulled up the top OnlyFans earners. Uh, just out of curiosity. So re- remember Cristiano Ronaldo, you have to pay him a million bucks for one Instagram post. Yeah. The top earner. Holy shit. She's killing it. So there is, who is it? I'll search her. Who is it? Um, well, the very top one is a woman named black China. Spelled proper spelling. B L A C space C H Y N A. Let's see what, what? Are you sure? She's That's a right. redhead. I don't know. I, I mean, I don't what know. What does she, she do, does. though? I don't know, but her monthly earnings from OnlyFans is an oh, She's a witch. That's why. Dude. No, her she's ad- a witch. That's why. I think she's a witch is what it said. And I think, her, yeah. Here. You want to fall You want to fall off your chair and get sick? Um, Are we going to make money on OnlyFans? Do we her, need to put up our OnlyFans post or whatever? Her monthly earning. Monthly earning in 2022 so far has been 20 million dollars a month motherfucker please are you the serious number, number two lady dude is a, the number oh. two lady is at 11 million dollars a month that makes me sick i mean all right there we go believe I'm it or not selling fucking i'm selling toe pictures believe it or not, on this list there are no men at the top of in the top 10 earners well, because what the fuck did I tell you? We are at a disadvantage. I'm yeah. telling you. Fuck, that is so depressing. Oh, that really is. Uh, the bottom of the top 10 uh, is making $1.5 million a month. So, Dude, give me 10 bucks for a foot pick. I'm fine. Jesus. I really am. That's sickening. All right. I'm going to click off that. That is so sickening. So the top 10 earners Uh, are making a million dollars plus up to $20 million a month. And here we are working our asses off for uh, a fraction of that. Yeah. So So, who's who's doing it it right and who's doing it wrong? We are obviously doing it wrong. We are doing it wrong, but for the right reasons. God damn it. Where's everybody's morals and standards these days? This is the the Sunday sermon. So exactly. We this are is right the reason there. I got put in Facebook jails. Does your fucking kid need to be smacked? Well, I, well I'm not going to say nothing. No, no they we, don't. Not on this We're show, on the face yeah. pages, so I'm not going to say none of that shit, but yeah. My, Progressive yeah. discipline is a must. So, yeah. ten Top 10 are each making a million plus. So, uh, so what are, we're selling dirty. We're selling Neil's foot feet pictures. That's what we came feet up with. Feet pictures. Like. If I have to wear underwears... I will to sell them. I bet people would like to see you were the you were the you were like wear those bang Miami swimsuits and shit. That's like old hey, material. Hey, somebody, hey, maybe I'll sell pictures of that. Yeah, that'll work. with a little hip thrust. Maybe we do like a little video, prance around with a little hip thrust, sachet, sachet, and a little yeah. hip thrust. Do something like that, and then you sachet away. Three snaps in a Z formation, baby. Sashay away. <laughs> good old RuPaul. Good old yeah. RuPaul. It is funny. <laughs> Three snaps and a Z formation. Oh man! Well, yeah, we've officially cool. created yet another side hustle, so we're doing OnlyFans. Well, oh, 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 um. So I do want to say this is episode forty. Yeah. So we have we have okay okay Eric, let's get into a debate. Is it literally? Or literally, because you fuck me up when you say literally. Literally, literally, or is it literally? It's that probably literally, but I say it too fast. That no, I've always said literally. Yeah, that's because you say it correctly. There's an A in there, but I just skip over. Well, no, but everybody I've watched now because I, I, I'm focused and I listen to you talk. No, yeah. and you have some pronunciations of some words that are fucking me up. One of them. 
is is it literally because everybody says that literally to the france literally or is it literally or am i just a fucking dirtbag and you know what i fucking sit in the fucking front room watching fucking tv and when i get too fucking hot drinking my great fucking kool-aid i go out on the fucking front porch and then i go back to the fucking front room no that's fucking uh, what it's called front f-r-u-n-c-h front room that's where your tv is the uh proper definition of it is the o literally you you say it correctly so you can say so literally because i'm lazy literally literally yeah if you're per, per, or literally or yeah. how do you say it? literally no <laughs> Lit, do you say literally literally uh, like there's a c in there literally olivia makes fun of the way that i say bagels how do you say bagels i just said it bagels she, I, I sometimes I sometimes I throw it in a little bit of a more of an ace. Oh, okay. like so so you know what a fucking true pers- person from fucking Chicago is? No. Is it called fucking Chicago instead of Chicago? Chicago. Chicago. You guys just Chicago. fucking roll right roll, off. Let it roll off. Let it roll off. Yeah. Um, yeah. Literally. No, I have a. I have some. So weird... we're literally gonna start a OnlyFans page. <laughs> um. Have we been asked for dicks, p- dick pics? I mean, okay. So I have, to be I fair, have, I have, I have, like I, I said, guys wife, are at a disadvantage. Yeah, other than my wife, no. Like nobody's asking me, like, dude, hey, bro, you look hot. Can I see your dick pic? That doesn't. That has not happened to me. Uh, that has never happened to me either. Right. So, have I asked for a tit pic or maybe a muff shot? Uh, that's up for debate, but you know. Oh man. <laughs> yeah. So. Listen. Uh, there, so here, have you? So have you? Or has anybody ever gotten an unsolicited dick pic out of the blue? Just some big cock. You open yeah. up your messages. I, who, who's this number from? And have you literally got literally? Literally, literally, uh, got I mean, an unsolicited dick pic. I may or may not have been going through photographs from a party that I was at that you were also a part of. Uh, about uh, I didn't send no dick pics 14 years ago or better. And as I was scrolling through pictures, there's fucking dick pics right in the middle of the camera roll because somebody grabbed the camera. This is back when like digital cameras were a thing because cell phones weren't <laughs> great at taking pictures. And somebody may- took that. That wasn't mine, was it? No, I don't okay. think so. Uh, All right. <laughs> I don't think yeah, it was really digital cameras. I was like, but, I don't think uh, that was mine. Yeah, no, but somebody took it and snapped like down their pants, have a picture of dicks, so, like in the middle. Oh, of the camera, fuck, in the middle oh of my... fuck! That was yeah. That was during your fucking. That was me. <laughs> so I was, maybe it was your dick. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that I guess I did get an unsolicited dick pic, the old fashioned way, the old fashioned <laughs> way when you're going through like looking at the pictures of the fun times that you have with your okay. guys. But fucking... but did you open up? a certain present in front of everybody and had a little shock and awe. Uh, I was smart enough to carefully open some box head boxes. Okay. All right. Just checking. Uh, well, I'm trying to prove I'm, now I've got to prove this one wrong. Ah. Only fans pays monies. Right. But for the guy side, like was there a guy making money? No, because we're all fucking dirty fucking old perverts. Um, and if he is making a little bit of Johnny Cash, what's he doing? I don't know. Apparently. That awkward silence, folks, while Eric digs deep it's in, not the, looking good in, for- the, in the abyss of it's the not, interwebs. It's not looking to find. Good. Yeah. It's not looking good for us, Neil. If I gotta okay, go, so, if I gotta scroll this far down to find how much money a guy is making on, on the So we line. gotta find a new hustle. All right. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, this says that uh so <laughs> gay OnlyFans performers are making around a hundred thousand dollars. So okay, so define gay only fans men. And are they like I don't even want to know what the fuck they're doing. I really don't. Yeah, and that's like that's not a month where the other where the ladies are making millions of dollars a month. So that's probably over a lifetime of 
touching yeah. wiener heads or something. I don't even want to go there. I don't even know. So I'm not doing that. All right. No, I'm out. Just, uh, unfortunately, so we need to find a new side next, hustle. Next uh, side hustle. Next one. We need to find a new side hustle because that is obviously not it. I just want to let you know that we were live on Facebook, or I'm sorry, live on YouTube last week because I was in Facebook jail and we got no new fucking subscribers. None. So we had okay. we had a few watchers. We had some watchers, but no subscribers. So if you don't know how to like or subscribe to any of our platforms, whether it's Facebook, whether it's uh YouTube, Spotify, Amazon Music, Apple Podcasts, shoot me a message on the face pages. I will liter- literally walk you through the steps on how to like and subscribe. It's not that hard. I understand people are computer are, are like technologically challenged it's not that hard shoot me a message i will walk you step by step on how to do this so so easy easy. we are 40 weeks into this we need to start planning what the fuck are we going to do on our one year anniversary three months out i say i say i figure out We'll have a big watch party here at the shop, and I'll figure out how to set up like a remote little spot where that people that are here can chime in and all that. Maybe we need to figure that out. What if we had a live podcast from like B Dubs or something? We can do it wherever. I'm I'm, I'm a big fan of B Dubs. Big fancy people go to do live podcasts at like restaurants and stuff. So people fill up the bars with. <laughs> it would be. It would be. You would hear. You would literally hear the crickets. Yeah. Hey, I'm fine. So we have 12 weeks to plan it. We're 40 weeks in, and Eric, I really applaud us. We have not missed a week. Not one. We, we have we- adjusted times. We have adjusted dates. We have not missed a week. That's something to be said. You <laughs> said most podcasts die off at 14, 15 episodes. Yeah. We're three times that much. We probably should have, but there's actually <laughs> people that I talk to that I see that I work with that's like, that was some funny shit. So we do got people that watch it or listen to it. We got people buying our fucking swag. Yeah. So as long as people it, are out there listening. I, I was listening to a podcast yesterday. It said, as long as it's trending up, no matter how slow it is, just kind of stick with it. Well, yeah. And why wouldn't we? It's been a hard, long week. Yep. We've had our ups and downs and we get to spend a half 30 minutes together catching up and just enjoying life. I love it, man. I really do. I really do. And, I really uh, appreciate you taking the time because you're a little bit more busier than me. <laughs> so I really want to uh, appreciate it. Yeah, we're having fun. We're having one, fun. one, one little last so- shout out. I know he don't listen, but I'm going to still shout it out. It's to Central Central Iowa Corvette and Dave. You guys are a bang up shop. You guys do bang up work and uh, you're top notch, man. Top notch. Nice. So if any, anybody's got some old classic Corvettes or older cars that you need checked out and worked on, Central Iowa Corvettes in Clive, Iowa. Boom. Get, owner's name's Dave. They're fucking, they're fucking stand up dudes and they do great work. So nice, nice, yeah. nice. Yep. We are, so uh, second shout out because we had to send a shout out to Brian, our number one fan. So that's right. Yeah. And to those two people that have stuck with us for 40 minutes today. God bless you. We applaud you. God bless you. Uh, Message uh, message us on the site, and I'll I will send you something out of my junk drawer. There you go. So yeah, there's maybe even some unexpired batteries or something in there. Who knows? It's worth a shot. (laughs) Right on. I need a couple of rubber bands. I was looking for those. So oh, I got I got plenty of those, dude. I will I will spend. I will spend more money on potions to ship those to you than the fucking <laughs> rubber bands cost. I promise you, I'll I'll do that. Perfect. That's what I'll I could that, use. Man. That's what I could right use. On. Right Sorry. on, brother. All uh, right. Uh, well, with that being said, fan, Eric, got the Eric do, you have your, do you have your soundboard ready? It's fired up. Let's see if it works today. Okay. okay. Hey, before this starts. Love you, brother. Love you too, Neil. All right. All right. Talk to you next week. All right. This is why we need money for a soundboard. It's lost in the interwebs. I literally have nothing on my phone. <laughs> do, you want, do you want me to play it? 
Uh, I don't think I can. Okay, nope. folks. Well, hang on. We're gonna figure this out. We're forty figure it out. Forty episodes in, and we still haven't figured out the sound off yet. <laughs> We're fucking trying, dude. I'm buying a soundboard. Fuck it. We're gonna figure this shit out. And Lucy put supper on the stove, my dear, because this, this game is over. over. Bye.